Putting yourself in the right place to think coming a good thinker isn't overly complicated. It's a discipline. If you do the six things I have outlined you will set yourself up for a lifestyle of better thinking. But what do you do to come up with specific ideas on a day-to-day -day basis? I want to teach you the process that I've used to discover and develop good thoughts. It's certainly not the only one that works, but it has worked well for me. Point 1. Find a place to think your thoughts. If you go to your designated place to think expecting to generate good thoughts, then eventually you will come up with some. Where is the best place to think? Everybody's different. Some people think best in Theshore. Others, like my friend Dick Biggs, like to go to a park. For me, the best places to think are in my car, on planes, and in the spa. Ideas come to me in other places as well, such as when I'm in bed. I keep a special lighted writing pad on my nightstand for such times. I believe I often get thoughts because I make it a habit to frequently go to my thinking places. If you want to consistently generate ideas, you need to do the same thing. Find a place where you can think and plan to capture your thoughts on paper so that you don't lose them. When he found a place to think my thoughts, my thoughts found a place in me. Point two. Find a place to shape your thoughts. Rarely do ideas come fully formed and completely worked out. Most of the time, they need to be shaped until they have substance. As my friend Dan Ryland says, they have to stand the test of clarity and questioning during the shaping time. You want to hold an idea up to strong scrutiny. Many times a thought that seemed outstanding late at night looks pretty silly in the light of day. Ask questions about your ideas. Find you nothing. One of the best ways to do that is to put your thoughts in writing. Professor, college president, and U.S. Senator S.I. Yakawa wrote, Learning to write is learning to think. You don't know anything clearly unless you can state it in writing as you shape your thoughts. You find out whether an idea has potential. You learn what you have. You also learn some things about yourself. The shaping time thrills me because it embodies humor. The thoughts that don't work often provide comic relief humility. The moments when I connect with God on me excitement. I love to play out an idea mentally. I call it futuring it creativity. In these moments I am enhampered by reality fulfillment. God made me for this process. It uses my greatest gifts and gives me joy honesty. As I turn over an idea in my mind, I discover my true motives passion. When you shape a thought, you find out what you believe and what really counts change. Most of the changes I have made in my life resulted from thorough thinking on a subject you can shape your thoughts almost anywhere. Just find a place that works for you, where you will be able to write things down, focus your attention without interruptions, and ask questions about your ideas.